For the worst speed traps in Texas, Houston tops that list, though. Local drivers say the worst speed trap is northbound New York Avenue just before the Interstate 20 overpass. On this day devoted to giving thanks, it would be understandable if Richard Heron took a pass. His disabilities are severe. News 8 photographer Arnold Payne met Richard driving down a Fort Worth street in his wheelchair. And tonight, he shows us all what giving thanks is all about. Gary Reeves reports. Michael Heron is just 10, growing up with only one parent at home. But for him, one is enough. The most fun that I had in my life, to bond with my dad, because he just makes my life just better. How you doing? And like many of the parents at Fort Worth's J.T. Stevens Elementary School, Mike's dad insists on driving his son to school. But Richard Heron can't drive a car. So with help from his trusty service dog, Troy Aikman, he loads up his son, and they're off. My dad's uh, wheelchair goes seven miles an hour. Thank you for another day. The most kids that ask me the question is, how did that happen to your dad? I keep on telling them, you know, he was born that way. Born with cerebral palsy, Richard Heron struggles to do almost everything, including talk. God is so good. You got to have the permanent to prove the fighting that you can be independent. And that's been a lifelong struggle. He spent his youth in institutions for the mentally retarded. Mentally retarded. But you're not retarded. Uh, no. You're in a nursing home. Yes. But you're not old. No. <laughs> he can laugh now, but it wasn't so funny through the years he fought the system to prove he could live on his own. And now he's the divorced father of three, just trying to be a normal dad. Oh, and I still make it! My job is to teach him how to live. How to, to survive. That's so good. Today? Hi, Miss Lavitz. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michael. Come on. Come on. Give me a hug. Okay. I'll bring it. Good day. Good morning. You're bad, bad. It's amazing, and it just completely blows our mind what he oh, accomplishes. Thank you. Have a good day now. My dad doesn't worry about his faults. He just worries about what he does. He's already an ordained minister with a bachelor's degree. He's working on his master's. The church played alternately. At his goal, to be a youth evangelist. I'm going to go back in the ministry for time. He credits God for his strength. For hands and legs, there's Troy Aikman. This dog is able to give me a love like no other human being. And he can love. You made me happy by you calling me. I'm glad it made your day. <laughs> it did. She's from a small town in Tennessee. They've never met in person, but that doesn't seem to matter. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Online, Richard also studies theology. That's where he found the poem that he says explains his determination. When God wants to mold a man to play the noblest part, how God uses whom he chooses and with mighty power infuses him, God knows what he is about. For months, Richard's been planning to meet his new love for Thanksgiving. But first, a trip to the mall. So what can we do for you today, sir? Yes! I want to buy a, a real engagement ring? The actual wedding band. 
goes closest to her heart. She'll be ecstatic and she'll be hugging him around the neck before you know it. It's a deal? And then Richard repaid their kindness with a prayer. It's so kind to you. Oh God, bless the man that dreamed my life. I'm a normal person. For a man just trying to be normal, Richard's life is a lesson for others who think they really are. He's a very loving, caring dad. Yes. Oh, yeah. In spite of his limitations, Richard understands just how blessed he is to have a dog like Troy, a son like Michael, and to find love again. And he knows who to thank, the man upstairs. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Gary Reeves, Channel 8 News. Now, Heron rented a boat to pop the question to his girlfriend, and we're happy to report tonight she said yes. All right. A lot to be thankful for. With that, with that. some happy ending, story. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, Steve, you're telling us the all.